We certainly do give thanks unto the Lord for He is good and His mercy endureth forever. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Come on, give Him a praise in the house of the Lord. Come on, give Him a praise because He woke you up this morning. He stopped you on your way. Come on, and just give Him a praise because He's glad to be in the land of the Lord. I can truly say I don't know what I'm doing without the Lord. Come on, he has made you glad. He has turned your sunshine out of your evening hours to Sunday. Come on and give him a praise. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. And if we certainly do give thanks unto him and for all that he is doing uh, for us, even in this atmosphere. Uh, truly, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, there's no telling where we would be. I certainly do enjoy our Sunday school lesson that we had and talked about purpose. Amen. God is the one that gives us purpose. He's the one that makes meaning out of life. And as long as you're following His purpose uh, for your life, it makes life more enjoyable. Um, we describe it as like being a ship without a sail. And we certainly do thank God and give God glory and God praise and honor because what I do today it establishes my tomorrow. So today we want to live intentionally for Him so that we can have a blessed tomorrow. Uh, so we want to go before the Lord in prayer, remembering uh, that the Lord, uh, He hears our humble cry. And we certainly do want to honor our First Lady on today, Lady Tracy. We want to thank God for her. Amen. And Minister Grady and his absence. And he certainly want to thank and praise God for Minister, uh, minister for uh, Mother Louise Davis. Amen. Let us, let us, let us, let us also remember uh, Evangelist Stephanie Arrington. Amen. Let us remember her. Give God a praise for her. Remember, as we go to the Lord in prayer, remember her son uh, was in the hospital. Remember him. That the Lord will touch his body. Amen. He needs, he needs your prayers right now. There's some prayers you pray and you pray, you know, uh, in general. But uh, you need to pray specifically, making your request known unto the Lord. He needs an accessory prayer at this time. So let us intercede that God will show forth his hand and his grace, that God will heal his body. And not only him, but any others that would come to your mind. Uh, Sister Priscilla, that the Lord will touch her life. Remember the Martin family, that the Lord will bless them, Irma and Gray, that the Lord will touch them uh, and give them strength and give them courage. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord will bless Christian ministries as a whole, that we'll continue to uh, grow in unity and in love to fulfill our vision and our mission uh, for this great church. And let us pray one for another, pray for our families that are here, that are that are raising families, uh, and, uh, any type of family. It could be a blended family, still a family. So let us pray. Let us pray earnestly. Uh, are there any other prayer requests? Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Don Rell, he means an accessory prayer. Be specific that the Lord will touch him, touch his mind, give his spirit. His soul and his body. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for all of our bereaved families uh, on today. We pray for the success of the service, that the anointing of God would be in our midst. Uh, you know, I want to feel God's anointing. I want to feel God's presence. I want to feel that. Amen. I want to see God's glory. Thank you, Lord. My God. My God. I want to, I'd like to see some crippled folk come in here and get healed. <laughs> Be not evil, be not delivered. Yeah. I'm going to see some deranged people in their mind. Come on in. Yeah. Get, their, get, their, get their mind right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I want to see that. Uh, because the Bible said, these signs shall follow them that like what? Believe. Yeah. Y'all may be saying, Pastor, be careful what you ask for, but that's all right. <laughs> I know God is able. Amen. Amen. I know God is able. God is able. How many you know God is able? Yeah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is able. I know. I was not 
to sing that song. God is able. God is able to do. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, if there be none of the prayer requests, I pray for, uh, I said the success of the service on today. I pray for the, the revival that we're going down into, um, into Youngstown, Ohio. I pray that uh, the Lord will bless us. We want to get on the van uh, at 1 o'clock. Uh, get on the van. And people that are driving, you know, I can give you the address so you can drive. Uh, it's only an hour and a half away. Um, we leave at 1, get there by uh, 2.30, and uh, stop and have something to eat. Um, and the service starts at 4, you know, to eat from 2.30 to 3.30, graze a while, you know, got to feed the sheep, right? <laughs> feed you beside the steel walls, they you by the green pastures. Amen? Amen. Amen. Y'all just looking at me right now. That's all right. <laughs> so I want to, um, so we'll eat us something and then go into the service, um, be there at 4 uh, for the praise and worship. Give God glory. You know, I always look for good preaching. You know, so uh, let us pray that the Lord will send a great message to the, the vessel of God and that we'll always be able to glean something from it. You know, one thing I learned uh, growing up, uh, I don't remember uh, uh, Sister uh, Mary, uh, you know, Helen, I'm sorry, Helen Morris, and uh, it was, it was a bad message that was going on that was being preached. And, uh, you know, preachers don't always hit the mark. And uh, the preacher wouldn't hit that mark on that day. But uh, Sister uh, Helen, she was, she was shouting up a storm, praising God. And I asked her, I said, after service, I said, why did you shout and praising God? You, you know what was being going on with that message. <laughs> And she said, she said, Brother Quinn, I was young in the Lord. She said, Brother Quinn, you just like one word, one statement, uh, something that that preacher said, hang on to it and shout the victory. <laughs> I said, okay, that's the way you do that. I said, amen, amen. So no matter what the message is, I look for me something in that message. Amen. I look for me something in that word. Uh, that I can hang on to. Uh, and I've learned, I've learned even as a preacher, uh, that though preachers may not execute the message uh, the way they have it in their own mind, but if you listen to the substance of what they're saying, even though the presentation may not have came out that way, you take what the subject and what they're saying to heart. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord, because God gives subjects. God gives information. So you take the information to heart. Amen? I'm helping somebody up here. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. It ain't always in the hot time to shoot off. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right, I'm just talking. I'm just talking. All right, we want to ask the church to stand. Saints, don't stop praying for the Lord is God. Saints, don't stop praying. Give me your time. For the Lord has promised, and His word is true. Just keep on praying. Hear the answer. Saints, don't stop praying.
making them known to you, Lord. Remember those that are sick and afflicted. Remember those that are going through in their bodies. Remember those that are going through any test and any trial and anything that they're going through. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, that you bless them speedily and mightily by your power, by your might, and through the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. We ask you, Lord, and glory. We ask you, Lord Jesus, that you bless our service on today. Stretch out your mighty hand. Send forth your anointing. Send forth your grace. Send forth your word on today. Strengthen our hearts and our minds, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. We'll be mindful to give you glory. We'll be mindful to give you honor and the praise. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. As you remain standing, come on. Just give the Lord a praise. When I do the fields that you will come at this time, remember us um, a reading from the Lord, and then we'll turn it back over to the hands of our praise and our worship team. I just want to say this before we turn it over to him. You know, no matter what the tests and trials are that you're experiencing in your life, you know, there could be storms all around you, you know, but the storms don't really affect you until they get, you're allowed to get inside, yeah. inside your heart, inside your mind. Yeah. So let us, let us, as the Bible says, keep your heart with all diligence, yeah. not for out of it comes the issues of life. Yeah. And let us guard ourselves that we'll be able to not allow what's going on on the outside to affect us uh, on the inside. Let's turn to the last chapter in the book of Psalms, Psalms 150.
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Now, ask them to do a teaching for us on today. Just, just give us a word of God. You can preach, teach, do whatever you want to do. Amen. Be constant, be constant. Amen. But hold on, hold on. I got, I got, I got to make the announcements. Amen. I got to take out my love offering. Amen. I got to put some more. I got to put some more butter on you because I'm, I got to tell the people about you. Oh, ah, yeah, I'm gonna tell the people about you. Thank you, Lord. That, that's a great man of God there to me. Amen. Amen. He's special to me. I'm gonna be a jewel in his crown. Amen. I'm gonna be a jewel in his crown. That's not to me, but he's special to us. Amen. <laughs> Come on, give God a praise to the man of God. Thank you, Jesus. He's the reason why I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior. Uh, he lived uh, on the side, I lived in the front, and he was living an upright and holy life, and trouble was all around me, and I remember this thing, a lot of things happened in my bed. I was in the bed crying. Y'all were in the bed and crying. Yeah. <laughs> that must be a good place to cry. I've been like crying in the bed, now I look back over my life. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, I was in the bed crying. I said, Lord, it got to be something different, got to be something better. He said, I said, Lord, I want to be like Brother David Riley. He was a brother at that time. And I didn't know it. You know, he had witnessed to me, told me about Jesus, and, you know, and lived the life before me. And when the pressure hit me, I said, Lord, I want, I want to be like him. He looked like he had all kind of peace, all kind of love, all kind of joy. Amen. And then the Lord hit my mind. He said, it's Wednesday. I said, I come to Bible study. He took me to Bible study. Thank you, Lord. And he, he, huh? The rest is history. <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> you know, Amen. That's why I call him my man. Amen. I thank God for him. So right now we want to change the order of our service. And we praise God. That's why it's important to do this thing before others. Because you never know who's watching. Uh, and who's desirous. Amen. I was watching him. I don't know if he knew I was watching. Amen. But I was watching. And you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Can I have full disclosure here? I have, before I, I, I turned to him, I was trying to go to the different other places. But the, the, when I went to the different other places, the people that were, I was hanging and running with and trying to uh, get away from they was in them different other places. You follow me? Uh, they wouldn't live in a righteous life, a holy life. And I said, Lord, I don't want to be a hypocrite. Amen? When, when, when I wanted to go to uh, a rehab place, as far as, as far as that go, I said, man, I'm, I'm teaching groups with the rehab people. And hey, I'm treating with them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't not in rehab. I ain't not in all of that. But you know what I'm saying? It, it, it made a difference to me uh, that, that, that how an individual was living. Amen. Your lifestyle makes a difference. Amen. Your lifestyle means something. Uh, so let your life shine. All right. Uh, it's giving time. It's giving time in the sanctuary. Um, Deacon Fields wants you to come on up front. Uh, the Bible wants us to give unto the Lord. See, if you give up to the Lord, he'll give you more to give. God expects you to, to give your tithes and, and your offerings. Amen. Your tithes is a tenth of all of your increase, and your offering is a free will offering unto the Lord. Uh, I don't have any tithes to give on this week, um, but I'm certainly giving an offering. Amen. My wife has an offering that uh, I asked her to write a check to put in. Um, for the Lord. So I always want to be in alignment for the Lord. And you don't want to give your tithes as offerings because there's a different blessing that's connected to your tithes than with your offering. The blessing that's connected to your tithes is he'll rebuke you about it. He'll open up a window uh, and you won't rob God. <laughs> you follow me? And but with your offering, it's a free will offering and God will bless you in a certain way. Uh, but the stronger blessing, if you'll have me to say, is in you giving your tithes. Amen. So you don't want to change your tithes into an offering because you mess around and miss out on that blessing that's connected to the tithes. You don't want to change the purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to do, I'm going to do some teaching on that. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know, you want to, you want to do right by 
your tithes and your offerings. Amen? All right. We want to ask the church to stand as we make ready to give. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly do thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to give, to sow seed in the kingdom. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every soul that has come out today to give. Bless those that are virtual, that are giving through tithing. And Lord, we ask you that you bless them as well. 30, 60, and 100 fold. And Lord, use what is given to your glory and to your purpose. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless. Ministries, we have a, a vision and mission, 
and that is to be a caring church, uh, making disciples and creating them to be prosperous. Amen. And then we have a mission here for us to promote the gospel of Jesus Christ. So at this time, we want to introduce to you and present to some, none other than this great man of God, Elder David Wright. Let us receive him with a hearty amen. Thanks. 
Oh! 